Hey guys, it's Drew here. Uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Uh, I've just been uh, a little a little tired after the hurricane and all that stuff. And we did all right here. We really didn't have any damage in Wilmington, North Carolina. Thank goodness. So, uh, yeah, the PT Cruiser is haunting me yet again. Guys, I think at this point I'm just keeping this car so I can do YouTube videos for you guys. <laughs> all right, so today we're talking about fan relays fan motor relays or electric fan relays and these are uh, on a chrysler so there's two of these okay so let's go over here so what i want to show you what happened is um my car started to overheat randomly <clears throat> and um i checked it for coolant well the coolant in here is full and you never want to check that coolant when it's hot obviously i let the car cool down and it's also this is the fill point it was also full over here so i was like what the heck and uh, so I got out my little trusty engine check reader and I'll show you a picture of that right now. It read a code and so it said it, said it was a fan relay. Well, this is your electric fan here. These are on Chrysler cars. Um, if you got like the Chevy Tahoe, it's an actual fan. It's not an electric fan. So there's a, two little relays on here. Well, last year I replaced this uh, about a year and a half ago, if you guys see that. And I bought this part on eBay and it was only like 60 bucks. So I was like, yay. <laughs> Well, apparently, uh, sometimes you fail when you buy parts on eBay, and it uh, turns out these relays may be bad. So I was lucky. We're going to try this out. I kept the old part, and the old part, the fan was broken, but the relays may still work. So we're just going to place those out, and we're going to see. But it can be a really serious situation if your car overheats and your temperature gauge goes up. And uh, I even had steam coming from the car, and I was just not sure what's going on. I don't know how it can get that hot. If it has coolant, but I guess this fan has something to do with circulating the actual electric air. <laughs> I know it goes on when the AC goes on. So, guys, um, basically what we what we're gonna do is, or what you do to reach it, you want to unplug your battery terminal, obviously your negative battery terminal, because um, you don't want to get shocked. You are dealing with electrical, and those are right here. So you can take a screwdriver and a flathead and get in there. And you just kind of pinch them off. It's different on each one. The one the part that I bought, the uh, relays are actually already attached to this but on some i don't know if on the factory part is different but anyway there's a little clamp and you obviously get in there and you loosen up the clamp and you pull these off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attach the new relays just to this without unscrewing all that stuff and we'll see if it works and if it doesn't work then uh we'll have to figure something else out but the code is saying fan motor relays one and two so both of these have failed so all right guys well i uh, just thought i'd uh, show you this video of what's going on here in the pt cruiser and those are where your fan relays are for your uh for the pt cruiser this is a 2008 model and uh so if you're not a subscriber yet go ahead and subscribe we've got a lot of pt cruiser videos as as this car is a new issue every single day and um yeah, so here we go. We're gonna try this and see if it works. And if it works, I'm gonna be very grateful. We'll see if that check engine light code came off. Okay guys, so uh, I uh, reattached the, uh, uh, it's kind of hard to see down there, but I attached, these are these are not working right here. I unplugged them and I just temporarily attached two other ones to it. And as you can sort of hear, the fan is running. A way you can see if your fan's running too is you can put streamers up. What you want to do is put your AC on high and uh, let it run and that fan will run. So yes, the fan's running again, so hopefully my car won't overheat. It was definitely the relays. So if, you're, if your car is showing overheating or it's actually overheating and you've got plenty of coolant in there, check the relays. And um, on a, mostly on Chrysler cars, I don't know if it happens on other cars, but it's just a crappy setup. But it so happens the part that I bought, at least the fan works. Um, but I don't have to buy relays because I recycled the old relays from the other fan, uh, the original OEM fan. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If your uh, your car's overheating and you still have coolant in it, you can't figure out why, and you use and it always helps to use one of those OEM or one of those uh, engine uh, check engine machines, and you can also get those at a, a uh, AutoZone. They can check it for you. So, all right, guys, well, another problem solved on the PT Cruiser, and uh, I'm sure there'll be another video coming up soon because she's hanging in there. 107,000 miles, and this bucket just keeps on having issues. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Drew. Make sure you subscribe.